Hello folks, the Celtic Nerd here bringing you another nerdy video. We are back with some Dragon Age Veilguard. And as you can see, we are continuing on from where we left off. Oh, I just noticed that his rapier uh, has a little hawk motif to it. That's a nice little touch. Now, sorry folks, I have not been up long, uh, but I want to uh, get some recording done before I head off, because normally I don't do any recordings on the Thursday, because I tend to have, you know, a lot of stuff planned, and I tend to be not in the house. I'm heading out to practice my new magic. I could use some moral support. I really have to get better at using my new abilities. Don't want to drop a rock on someone's head. So yeah, I normally, like, I normally do it out of the house uh, the entire day. So I wanted to get some recording done, but before that I need to pause, because I need to upload the next part. Part 3 of my 10 part series is currently uh, uploaded onto YouTube. Sorry folks, um, it's just that because of the huge controversy all surrounding Veilguard, I feel like it's important for me to get this 10 part series, you know, onto YouTube as quickly as possible. So, like, whenever I can, I need to start the next upload. Okay. <clears throat> because we are helping Harding, we'll take Harding, who applies Sunder. And since and then we will bring Nev because she detonates her. But yeah, folks. Um, again, I'm. We are. I've currently. This is part seven. Oh, we have like a quest icon here. Discover beacons for fast travel. Okay, well, I'm also on party members, so. But yeah, anyway. So, essentially, folks, what's going on is we're on part. We're currently on part seven of my 10 part series. The dock's been fixed. The caretaker must be regaining control of the crossroads. So, because, we sail. so yeah, because of that, I don't know how much longer we're going to have. scent, I can't place it. For a moment, it smelled like Docktown after it rains. Could be magic from the ancient elves. Like, it's just... Like again, like I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to see the negativity that people are having. Beyond Tom here. He is level A. What level are we? Real quick. We're level eight, so we're just within level range. Hit, 
they're, yeah, they're all on the same target. I'm there. That goes to you. First the Crossroads Guardians and now the Anton. Stay alert. That's a win. So some people found themselves here. Harding ran straight for that. What happened at Demeter's crossing spreads? Not much we can do to stop it. You have to attack it at the source. The whole village? Covered in blight, I heard. What could do such a thing? I hear it's Elganon and Gilanane. A oh. lot of weird things lurking in the forest. I got the goods to kill most all of them. So yeah, we can upgrade our helmet. Ooh, decorations are now available to be purchased. Pocket frock. stuff to sell. But come back anytime. I wanna wait until I can get to the Morn Watchers. When did the troubles begin? Recently. Around the time Solus's ritual went wrong. I don't remember these target things being here. So I guess the camp is, you know, more or less getting ready. Don't get lost. The Alluvian's working. We're finding help. It's not a bad start. This started with us failing to finish the last job. Okay, it's not a bad second start. Maybe the third will be perfect. See that? Bad guys. Take it to him! 
deep stalkers, they got really fucking big. They resemble them, but just way bigger. This should be perfect. It's wide open, lots of rocks, and away from people. I don't want to try anything where I could hit someone. Oh, this sounds exciting. I know. Come on. Being able to move the terrain is going to be really useful for a scout. Getting up high for good vantage. Let's try it out for practice. <sighs> All right. See this rock? I'm gonna move it. Oh, awkward. Don't give up. You're still new at this. I can do this. I can do this. You can do this. But I did it before, when we were fighting Darkspawn. Uh, we were in danger. Maybe that helped. So, a mental cue. Some kind of emotional trigger. Maybe you could think about how your abilities protect us. Instinct. Protection. Shield myself. Shield others. If I had this magic before, I could have... There we go. I could have protected the people who matter. Huh. You can't blame yourself for everything. It'll destroy you. Some thoughts just come. They leave their mark. Even when you push them away. Hmm. I just have to concentrate on the people I can help. Either way, I think I'll need more practice with this. Don't you? I wonder what's up there. Think you could find us a route? Maybe. I'll take a look. You can move this to give us something to climb on. Heard ya. Well done. Let's find another rock for you. The multitudes called out, finding solace in each other. Uh, what? I don't know. I was just saying something, wasn't I? Huh. Just came to me. Think you could clear a path for us? Right. Look at that. You're getting good. Wanna try another one? Why not? Leave it to me. There you go. Practice is really helping, huh? I might even be ready for a bigger challenge now. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, there's ever more space over here. I can't help but feel like we need Nay for this. 
Oh. So, the, the game is giving us a bit more freedom in terms of who we can have in our party. And what I mean by that, folks, is... The helmet is significantly better. Um, so what I mean by that is... Uh, Normally in these other games you would constantly have to switch your party members to what you would, you know, to, to unlock different things. Like for example, if I Titan would need to come back here with Nave. But no. So the dagger allows me to use their exploration abilities without them being present. So for example, if I see one of these types of rocks and Over here. Harding's not in the party. So many rocks. And they feel different. That one's granite. That one's slate. I think that one might be quartz. I wonder if the rock's composition affects my magic. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Let's get back to it. Practicing, I mean. Got it. It's no trouble for you now. I know. This is great. I'm on it. Good work. You got the hang of this stone thing. I'm definitely getting there. What was that? Someone's in trouble. Over here, Harding. We need to move quick. Please, someone! Is anyone out there? Someone's in trouble. We need to go. Oh no, we need a ladder. Can move. Hold on. <laughs> Up over there. I bet that's where he is. How about if you move this rock? There he is. Let's hurry. Easy. Maker, I thought I was dead for sure. Harding wouldn't let that happen. The rocks. How did you do that? I... Harding? Do you hear that? Hear what? Sister, I feel you. Touched by the ancients as I was. Find me. Look to those closest to the stone. And find me. Harding. What's wrong? What are you hearing? Um. I'm sorry. Let's just get our friend to safety. And then we'll talk. Ugh. Okay. Oh. The plot tickens.
Okay, folks. Um, unfortunately, this is where we're going to call it. Again, um, this is pretty much how we're going to be still doing things. We're going to be doing them like one quest at a time. So, which means we're only going to be going like roughly 10 quests in. But again, we've we've gotten a good bit of the game played. So, there is that. Um, <clears throat> the quest, uh, the companion quest seem very interesting. Well, okay, we haven't, we've only done one. But the companions are very interesting. So we're going to end this video here and then we'll be back with more Dragon Age Veil vale Guide.